Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MatTube. In this video, we are going to solve this particular differential equation. That's it. But this video is very special because you chose this video. And this is a request from many of the first year students in TU. So, in this video, we will learn how to solve the differential equation. I mean, this particular differential equation. Okay, but before we start, I have two conditions. Condition number one, you should be good in solving the Cauchy-Euler equation. You can search the video list uh, in the first year, you can find that. And same thing, you must know how to apply method of variation of parameters. You can find uh, these two things in the first year video list. Anyway, let's start. So those students who know Cauchy-Euler equation will immediately recognize this equation. Look at this. This is the uh, differential equation. Uh, x squared d squared by dx squared. So you can copy the equation now. Equal to e to the power x. The first thing to do x squared d 2y plus 4x capital dy plus 2y is equal to e power x. That is x square d square plus 4x into d uh, plus 2 of y is equal to e to the power x. Perfect. Perfect. What you call Cauchy Euler equation. Okay. So that is why I said condition number one, you should be very good in solving Cauchy Euler equation. And don't worry, if you don't know how to solve Cauchy Euler equation, just search the video list and find it. Okay, anyway, the method is put x is equal to e power z and theta is equal to d by dz. And then we write z is equal to log x, x into d is equal to theta, x square into d square is equal to theta, theta minus 1. In some books, they use d dash. In some books, they use small delta instead of theta. That's just book dependent and it's personal. So, it's up to you. Anyway, I'm going to use theta. I'm familiar with this notation. Okay, so what I do is I replace this with theta, theta minus 1 plus 4 times theta plus 2 of y is equal to e to the power. What should I do instead of x? Yeah e to the power z and you open the bracket so we get theta square and plus 3 theta plus 2 of y is equal to e to the power e to the power z okay so now remember this is a differential equation nothing more than that this is a differential equation uh, now, you should be good with condition 2. Condition 2 means you should be good in solving or applying method of variation of parameters. You can check that video. Method of variation of parameters will be applied if you don't see the standard functions on the right side. And standard function means we have learned five different standard forms. And I have never seen this in that five standard forms. So I'm going to apply method of variation of parameters. So the first thing to do is uh, we find the complementary function. So the auxiliary equation is m square plus 3m plus 2 is equal to 0. You can solve and you will get m equal to minus 1 minus 2. So our complementary function will be y is equal to c1 e to the power minus z plus c2 e to the power minus 2z. I am going to call the first one as y1 and the second one as y2. I will repeat once more. If you do not know method of variation of parameters, you will not understand what I am doing right now. So, I will strongly recommend 
pause the video right now and watch method of variation of parameters okay so y1 is equal to e to the power minus z and y2 is equal to e to the power minus 2 z and to find the round scan we need the derivatives so e power minus z times minus 1 and y2 the derivative will be e to the power minus 2 z times minus 2 and now let's find the round scan that will be determinant e power minus z e power minus 2 z minus e power minus z minus 2 e power minus 2 z okay now the property of determinants tells me to take um, what do you call this common from the first column and this common from the second column so my round scan becomes e to the power minus z e to the power minus 2 z and the determinant will be 1 minus 1 1 minus 2 and I think you remember a power m times a power n is a to the power m plus n so we get round skin is equal to e power you can add these two things minus 3 z and the determinant will be minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1 so this is not equal to 0 I told you so many times exponential function the graph is a hockey stick it goes through one and it becomes a hockey stick or a hockey bat anyway this is one and it never touches the x-axis that means it never becomes zero okay now we are ready with uh, the solution so I'm going to write the general solution is y is equal to cf cf we have already found plus u1 y1 plus u2 y2 and I'll call it equation number 1 where u1 equal to integral right side by w times y2 don't forget the negative and u2 is equal to right side by w into y1 and the variable is not x uh, here we have said so I to put d z okay now time to check the right side and all let's go for it so look at this this is our right side so this is our right side you can note it and this is our round skin and where is our y1 and y2 okay i'll use some other color so y1 y2 you can note these things and let's substitute so u1 is equal to minus integral right side is e to the power e to the power z the whole divided by e to the power what's our round scan yeah minus 3z and the negatives here times y2 y2 what is y2 let's check y2 e power minus 2z so negative negative will be positive so we get e to the power e to the power z and by the way a power m by a power n is a power m minus n so i can see e to the power minus 2 z by divided by e to the power minus 3 z that will be e to the power minus 2 z minus minus will be plus yeah so we get e to the power z d z now there is nothing it's a simple substitution so we put e power z equal to t so e power z d z equal to dt so this will become t and this whole thing will become dt so we get integral e to the power t dt and that is e to the power t and that will be equal to 
e to the power e to the power z because t is nothing but okay so we got u1 so i'll put it in a green box okay now time to find u2 so integral right side what's the right side e to the power e to the power z by round scan that is e to the power minus 3 z and a negative times y1 what is y1 that we will check i forgot what is y1 yeah e power minus z of course d z and this is equal to minus will go outside e to the power e to the power z and this becomes e to the power uh, 2z that means e to the power z into e to the power z uh, dz i hope you are not confused with this step if you want i'll explain e power minus z by e power minus 3z this goes up and this becomes e power minus z plus 3z and that will be e to the power 2z and that is e to the power z the whole square and that is why I wrote like this. It's a minor thing, uh, but for some weak students, that step might have helped. Okay, and as always, what we do is put e power z equal to t. So this will become t and e power z d z. We have to take the differential. So this will become dt and this will again become t. So basically we end up with a product t times e power t dt okay now i hope you remember i l a t e algebraic function exponential function perfect we can apply product rule so minus uh, i apply my favorite rule uh, bernoulli's rule so uh, first function interval of second minus differentiate the first one again integrate the second one okay so this minus goes inside so we get e power t minus t e power t that is e to the power e to the power z minus e to the power z into e to the power e to the power z and so looks so funny okay that's it finished so let's write the general solution the most awaited moment so cf is let's go back back up yeah cf where is my cf 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 yeah here here we found the cf here once upon a time here c1 epo yeah okay i'll remember that c1 e to the power minus z plus c2 e to the power minus 2z plus u1 y1 where is my u1 and y1 u1 is here and where is y1 yeah so e to the power e to the power z into y1 is e to the power minus z and then u2 u2 is right here so e to the power e to the power z minus e to the power z e to the power e to the power z times where is y2 y2 e power minus 2 z okay now back to cauchy euler i think you remember uh, e to the power z is nothing but x i hope you remember this so this becomes c1 into this is actually 1 by x because e power minus z means 1 by e power z and this is 1 by x square and this is e to the power x and 1 by x and plus this is e to the power x minus x e to the power x times uh, 1 by how much e to the power x the whole square so x square okay now let's do one more step and that's it we can distribute it so y equal to c1 by x plus c2 by x square plus e power x by plus e power x by x square minus x and x will get cancelled by x that's it this is the solution so i'll wind up the video right now i hope 
you understood this but if you still have any doubt you can email me and i'll be back with more videos and if you like the video please share and subscribe so we'll meet soon till then my friends bye